It's the Nike Mercurial Vapor 12 Elite. Being quicker and more fly than ever, it's the most progressive vapor Nike has made to date at just 170 grams. Because jumping on the Flyknit train, the Vapor 12 mixes the best high-tech stuff from the Nike Innovation Kitchen with inspiration taken from nature's finest speedsters. Sadly, we couldn't find anyone who would actually loan us a real-life cheetah, so we decided that well, this thing would have to do and instead went to Belgium to see if the vapor is indeed as good as they say it is. The new vapor is engineered to offer both modern raw performance and a sensation of completely disappearing on foot. With a one-piece flyknit upper that wraps your foot 360 degrees. But is it more hardcore fighter jet or agile deadly feline? With all the focus on the fancy changes though, the thing that's changed the fit the most is funnily enough something as seemingly insignificant as the silicone coating off the knit. It goes from on the bottom being a full solid coating to gradually being a more and more untreated knit on the top, which means that on the top, you get this tight and free and personal sensation of a sock, but still with a very solid and secure base. And the beauty of it all is that you don't feel where one element ends and the other begins. Unlike some of the other vapors though, you don't feel crammed in or restricted here. You're simply just reaping the benefits of being securely locked into your fighter jet, going at light speed, while at the same time strolling over the savannah, looking for a zebra to chew at. The good thing is that wide-footed players can also join the party because of how the boot stretches on the top. And if you go true to size, you're more or less gonna get a fit that feels sprayed on and offers that sensation of being light on your feet than only a vapor can give you. The sole plate itself has also changed. The chassis is now on the inside with a double potular outsole system featuring the same stock configuration as the Vapor 11. Being honest, I didn't feel that big of a change though. You still feel very connected to the sole itself as you sink into the anatomical plate and the traction is unrivaled. It's powerful, it's fast, it's aggressive, and the feeling of the boot reacting to your every little move and your powerful acceleration is pretty satisfying and still the best in its class. Actually, they're so sharp that I bet you could even ice skate in them. <laughs> Running fast isn't everything though, but thankfully Nike also spent a lot of time on the touch side of things, engineering in 3D flyknit speed rips to give you more grip. And there's no denying that you get a very lovely texture grip on the bull. It's not gonna turn you into Neymar, but neither does it feel like it's too much. And I always felt comfortably in control of the ball without it ever being too sticky. And combining that with a very thin upper, you get that barefoot-like sensation on the ball when you put your foot through it. It feels like you get this ping where the ball just flies off your foot in that very vapor-like way. And if you tried one, you know what I mean. After hitting the pitch at Genk, I realized that I needed a new haircut to be fly enough to rock the Vapor 12s. And at my favorite barbers, I contemplated what Nike could still improve on the new boot. The most obvious thing here is that the upper is a bit unusually stiff and rigid for a Vapor before you break it in and soften it up. And also, I didn't really feel how the upper is wrapping all the way around the foot at any point. And combining that with a bit of weird light chafing at first on the top of the heel and the fact that the design hasn't grown 100% on me just yet, this isn't a perfect 10. And while the Vapor 12 isn't turning innovation on its head, and is using stuff we've seen before on other boots, the sum of its components simply makes it better than any other speed boot out there, taking the wow sensation from the old Vapors and mixing it with modern technologies. And while the Vapor 12 Elite will neither make you run faster or turn your foot into a cheetah pool for that matter, it will make you feel fast 
and light on your toes, like a vapor is supposed to. And for me, it's an absolute must try if you're into speed boots. But what do you guys think about the vapor going all flighted? You should let me know in the comment section right down below. And while you're at it, you could also check out more of our reviews by clicking right down here and even go subscribe to our channel by clicking the green bubble up here to see more stuff on the brand new Mercurial boots. And with that said, guys, I'm signing off. Cheerio.